I want the Blue Jays to win the World Series. But after two seasons now where expectations were high and hopes were even higher, the Blue Jays have fallen flat. Ooh. With not one but two disappointing seasons down the drain and the scary tick of father time growing ever louder, it is no wonder that the Blue Jays are in on pretty much every notable free agent this offseason. But what if we don't get any of them? What if this offseason goes by and the Toronto Blue Jays don't sign a single single free agent. What's up guys and welcome to the YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to give the step-by-step -step formula that the Blue Jays are going to need to follow if they want to win the World Series without signing a single free agent. Before I get into it, please make sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. We post daily MLB content, so I promise you won't regret it. So, step one. Defense. If the Blue Jays don't sign anyone this offseason, then they are all going to need to take a step up defensively. The Seattle Mariners, the team that beat the Blue Jays in the playoffs, had great defense. The Yankees, who won the division last year, had great defense. Houston, who won the World Series last year, had great defense. Bit of a trend going on here, folks. Oftentimes, Blue Jay fans like to point the finger at the bullpen, and that's fair. They have been bad. But an actionable fix to actually help the bullpen without signing a single player is to just play better in the field. You know what that means, guys? This dude has got to stop playing shortstop. I will forever have this horrible highlight imprinted on my brain. And the thing is, everyone else is getting better defense Defensively except Bo. Just put the guy at second base. He doesn't even need to be there forever, but if you tell him right now that he can prepare all off season, I honestly think that that is a lot better than just pretending his defense is fine. I will cite this highlight once again and tell you guys everything is not fine. Step number two is to trade a catcher. Just because the Jays aren't going to sign anybody doesn't mean that they can't trade for people. At this point, guys, I'll be honest, I don't even care which one gets traded, just chip one of them off. If the Blue Jays are going to win the World Series without any signings, then we are going to need depth. Now, I know it sounds appealing to trade one of our catchers away for a star player, but honestly, it might be better to get a bunch of guys instead. Trade Moreno away and give me a mid-tier pitcher, a mid-tier bullpen guy, and a mid-tier bat, and honestly, I'll be happy. Injuries are going to happen, and this Blue Jays roster, as it is right now, wouldn't be able to handle them. Step number three is the bounce backs. If the Blue Jays don't sign anybody and the whole team performs exactly like they did last year spoiler alert everybody no world series we need some bounce backs specifically from mr jose barrios and yusei kikuchi the blue jays pitching staff was hanging on by a thread last year and now that ross stripling is gone they're gonna need these guys to step up if the blue jays did have bounce backs from barrios and yusei kikuchi and assuming manoa and gosman are still good and we traded for that mid-tier guy, like I just suggested, we might be okay. That's all obviously a very big ask, but nobody said that getting to the World Series was going to be easy. Step number four is the breakout. And shockingly, I'm actually not talking about a player. I'm talking about this guy. Is John Schneider the guy? Well, if the Blue Jays win the World Series without making a single signing this offseason, then the answer is yes. We saw good things from him last year, but we also saw mistakes as well. In this scenario that we're talking about, there won't be any room for mistakes and he's going to need to be impeccable. Schneider's decision making and the ability to get the best out of his players will have to be perfect. After all, we made a Yusei Kikuchi bounce back and any coach that can make that happen might be Hall of Fame worthy. Hard defense, smart trades, bounce back at the pitching position, and incredible coaching is what it is going to take for the Blue Jays to win the World Series without any signs. Signings. Basically, we got to play Tampa Bay Rays baseball here, folks. But guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, go Jays go.